Hi, I'm Klaus Heinz, CTO and founder at Head Audio, and today I would like to introduce our new Mark II series of studio monitors. They come with some fresh ideas and a new level in sonic performance. Hand assembled in Berlin, these monitors combine woofers and mid-range units with special Honeycomb diaphragms and an AMT tweeter, which stands for Air Motion Transformer. Numerous recording and sound engineers have been impressed by the transient response and the clarity these tweeters can produce that I started to develop more than 20 years ago. The real step forward in these Mark II monitors lies in two groundbreaking innovations that will make your life in the studio more effective, more enjoyable, and more successful in the end. The first innovation is the ability to run the monitors in two distinctive modes, either open or closed. We call it COP. This is achieved by delivering some plugs that you can insert into the tubes and a corresponding filtering on the backside can be chosen to have the best results for either open or closed systems. So if the most in dynamic is necessary, you would choose the base reflex option. If accuracy is the number one issue, you better choose the closed version. COP is applicable in every model of the new Mark II series. And even the new subwoofers, Base 08 and Base 12, boast this feature. Secondly, we have introduced the head linearizer. The head linearizer is a filtering that allows to have a linear phase response. It has to be mentioned that through loudspeakers, the timely relationship between the different frequencies always suffers. It is called a phase error. To avoid this, there is no chance with analog loudspeakers, but there is a chance with DSPs. What we did is to choose impulse response filtering that allows to delay the signal in a way so that the original phase relationships will be the same as delivered from the recording. As a result, you will have more precise transients, a better stereo imaging, and an overall reality in the reproduction. Phase linearization also is introduced for the base 08 and 12 subwoofers, and that for the very first time allows to get phase linear satellite subsystems. Other new features of the Mark II series are the desktop filters that allow to compensate slight reflection effects that you have if you work on a larger disk console. And second, a base extended mode that allows to go to like 20% lower frequencies on cost of the maximum SPL. With that feature, even with the smaller models, you can have very low frequency reproduction right on your desktop. All the controls of the new line can be accessed via step potentiometers or rotary switches on the back side, making speaker adjustments reliable and a charm to use. <laughs>